All right, so just recently I actually purchased a ball python and I did an unboxing video unboxing my $1,500 ball python. And as a matter of fact, I had a lot of comments underneath that video. A lot of people are saying, who in their right mind would spend $1,500 for a ball python? It's pretty incredible. There's a lot of people out there that don't realize the, the pretty much the, the market of reptiles and how many people buy and sell snakes and how big the reptile industry is. It's pretty amazing. And if you look at some of your local reptile shows, uh, like here in Colorado, you, you kind of look at the shows and you're like, all right, there's a show in the spring, maybe one or two shows, and then in the fall, there's maybe one or two shows, and then everyone's waiting for the next year to actually go to the next show. But what I want to show you in this video is there's actually multiple reptile shows every single weekend, pretty much year round that I've seen. <laughs> you look at the calendar and it's like, I can't believe there's a reptile show every single weekend somewhere here in the United States. It's pretty amazing. And I was actually, I was actually thinking of other things that I could do since I just recently resigned from my day job. I'm pretty much just doing snake keeping and breeding full time here. I was thinking, you know, I have a little extra time. It would be kind of cool to actually just travel to some of these reptile shows. Maybe bring along my camera and then just shoot some video of the show and post it on YouTube. I could actually do it every single weekend, which would be pretty incredible. Although right now I really don't have the funds to buy the airline tickets to fly around. But eventually, if my YouTube channel really takes off, I thought that would kind of be a unique, uh, kind of a niche on my channel. You know, some people will actually like fly to the NARBC and then do a video, but I've never really seen anyone flying to reptile shows every single weekend and you can actually do it. It's pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I wanna show you where you can go to find the list of reptile shows in case you wanna hit a reptile show every single weekend. All right, so every time I come over here to the internet, I don't actually have this bookmarked. I'm like, all right, where was that list of reptile shows? And I think the easiest way to find it is to come over here on Google and just do a search for list of reptile shows. And the interesting thing is there's a lot of people that actually have lists of shows, but I think the most complete and up-to-date one here is the reptile events calendar from Reptiles Magazine. And if you click on that and you come over to here, this is the page, basically, this is Reptile Magazine over here and they list all the shows. So I want to show you this real quick. This is pretty amazing. So if you come over here and look at what date it is right now, I'm kind of dating myself, dating this video because I'm showing you what, when I'm actually recording this. This is actually, it, yes, it is 8.19 a.m. in the morning on a Monday. <laughs> and this, this is like uh, the beginning of the week. And the next Reptile Show, the Reptile Shows are almost always on the weekends. So the next show coming up would be the 2nd of November, and then we have another one on the 9th and another one on the 16th. So the 2nd, the 9th, and the 16th. And if you come over here and to, to, to just take a look at how many shows are over here, here is the All Maryland Reptile Show on the 2nd. Here's another one, Repticon Fort Walden Beach on the 2nd. Here's another one on the 2nd, Repticon Columbia. Here's another one, Repti Day Port Charlotte, November 2nd. There's four of them on this coming weekend. It's pretty amazing. And then, actually, there's another one here. This is actually on the 3rd, pretty much the same weekend. This one's on the 3rd. This one's on the 3rd. Multiple shows all in this next weekend. And probably the hardest part is, all right, which show do I actually want to attend? And you kind of look through all these. It's kind of interesting. And here is the, the next weekend, November 9th. You have Repticon Tampa, Repticon Knoxville, Repticon Costa Mesa. <laughs> you come over here to the next page. It just keeps going on and on. The New York Metro Reptile Expo, and then the following weekend, Four State Reptiles, Repticon Oklahoma, Repti Day Columbus, Repticon Jackson, <laughs> Reptiles at the York Expo Center. Here's another one on the 17th. All those reptile shows just in the next three weeks. You have an incredible amount of shows to choose from. If you decide to just start flying around and check out the shows, you can always do one show on a Saturday, fly over, do another show on a Sunday, and do that nonstop pretty much year-round. It's pretty amazing how many reptile shows there are. 
And if you actually come over here, I thought this was really interesting. So some of these shows actually have a show every single month, uh, every single month, year round. So take a look at this. This is the Pittsburgh Reptile Show and Sale. And they have a calendar, a 2019 calendar. And look at the show dates for 2019. They have one in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, so every single month at the, it looks like like the first I think it's the first weekend of the month the first Saturday of the month it's pretty amazing every single month of the year it's I can't even believe how many reptile shows and some of these shows are just every month it, I, I kind of wish our local reptile shows were like this because then you hatch out some snakes and then a few weeks later after they start eating you could just jump into the show and unload them pretty quick without having to worry about shipping them or anything like that and it makes me wonder how big some of these shows are actually selling uh, having a show every single month that seems like it would be a pretty big show so the other neat thing about this website is if you come over here they actually have a search uh, field over here where you can actually search i searched for Cal colorado to see what shows are upcoming here in colorado and it pulled up the repticon colorado springs and this is kind of interesting because a lot of the shows here in colorado they're not really i say they're not really scheduled to the day or the weekend until just a month or two before the show a lot of times you don't really know when they're going to be until you keep checking back on the website so you really can't schedule them out which is kind of interesting they don't have the same dates throughout the whole year and this one the den the repticon colorado springs is the show that i'll be selling my next snakes at so if you're interested in jumping over and coming to this show it'd be really cool it's it's a smaller show and if you actually click on view event details right here it expands the screen and you see all the details the the dates and the times the cost it's ten dollars i know some of these shows are more or less some i actually looked at some of them some are six dollars it looks like this one's ten kids under five are free and actually if you scroll all the way to the bottom it has a link to the official page for this reptile show so keep in mind when you're scrolling through these these aren't actually the official links to the reptile shows this this is just kind of the schedule of events so what you really want to do is you want to come down here click on the link and that brings you over to the repticon website and that's where you can find more detail about the reptile shows as a matter of fact if you scroll all the way down on the show it gives you the dates and times and everything but the other thing that's really cool that it's kind of a new feature of the repticons is they put a map here and all the th this is essentially the map of the show the layout where everybody's going to be and everything in green has already been booked so it's it's, it's like six weeks away and it's already filling up pretty fast if you want a table i think it's like 95 dollars for a table to actually sell stuff at the shows which is pretty cool but if you look at this booth right here in the middle this is actually my booth right here chris hardwick reptiles which is pretty cool I actually booked that table. I kind of like to be in the middle away from the doors and, and people kind of circle around and then they eventually go to the middle. It's, it just seems like it's, it's busier in the middle at certain times. I really like being in the middle. And then if you scroll down here, you can actually see all the different people that are in the shows. You can see, um, you kind of see your competition. I like to look look through and see, all right, is there a ball python table that's gonna be next to me? And then I try, you know, I try to separate my snakes, my ball pythons, kind of away from other ball python tables. So we're not like sitting right next to each other, competing to sell the same snake for different prices you know sometimes it can be a little too competitive as a matter of fact though at the last show that was right next to another guy we were both selling ball pythons then it worked really well because we really didn't have any snakes that were the same he had completely different snakes than i did and it worked really well and the cool thing about this is you can actually click on my name over here and um you can actually get more contact information from the vendor for for example like this actually has a link to my youtube channel so if you click on this link it goes over to my youtube channel which is pretty cool but you can actually look at more information about the individual vendors and kind of get an idea do i really want to buy a snake from this guy before the show starts which is pretty awesome 
All right, so it is time for the question of the day. And Carrie Ann Fontaine asks, where can I buy some live rats to kickstart my rat breeding operation? And that is a very good question. It's pretty much the same question I had when I started breeding rodents. Where can I get my first live rats and mice? And I would say probably the number one place that you want to check for first is check out your local reptile shops. As a matter of fact, if you walk into a reptile shop, you start looking around on the shelves and everything, uh, I can almost guarantee that you will not see live rats and mice there in the store. Most places will actually keep them in the back because they smell a little bit they want to keep the smell away from the customers but if you, if you actually ask someone who works there how much they are and if they have them I can almost guarantee most reptile shops will actually have live rats and mice in the back and I would say I would probably avoid going to just a regular like a pet store like a big chain pet store and buying the fancy rats or mice because the problem with that is especially with the mice uh, I actually started with fancy mice and the problem problem is, is you start breeding them and they breed a lot slower than the feeder mice. And the other thing is, is if you start breeding all these colors and patterns together, you get all these really amazing, neat looking mice and you want to keep holding them all back and pretty soon your whole rack is full of all these fancy mice and you don't want to feed them off to your snakes. That is the big problem. So what you really want to do is you want to go with all one color, especially with the mice. That's what I found. And then you don't really differentiate between, you know, getting attached to one or the other that's probably the hardest part especially with the mice because they're pretty cool but I say with the rats it's a little bit different <laughs> I don't know what Bobby's doing here on my head again but with the rats I would say just regular Norway rats as a matter of fact I started out with six rats at the very beginning and I'd probably you know if you're thinking about going fairly big I would go with six rats at the beginning just for some more genetic diversity so you're not breeding everything Thing from one single individual to start your whole collection. As a matter of fact, if, the, if you, a lot of people say if you're breeding anything, you should start with at least half a dozen just to mix up the genetics in, in order to get going. So that is probably where I'd start is the reptile stores. Another place would be your local Craigslist. You could check out Craigslist, see if there's anything on there. And another place, a good place to look is the reptile shows in your local area. The most reptile shows that I've seen here in Colorado they actually prevent you from bringing frozen thawed rats to the shows because like one specific company will have kind of the, the, the I don't know how they do it they like corner the market on the reptile shows they're the only ones that can sell the frozen thawed rats and mice but as far as the live feeder mice there's no limitations anyone any vendor can bring them to the shows and a lot of times you actually see African soft furs and a whole bunch of other rodents as well so that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.